One of the most important tours the Queen has ever undertaken was in China in 1986. Her visit was a critical piece of diplomacy, coming soon after the fractious negotiations to return Hong Kong to China. At the start of her reign, the Great Wall was completely out of bounds. But here she was, receiving five-star treatment from her Chinese hosts. She was given privileged access to the newly excavated army of terracotta warriors. Normally, one visits the terracotta warriors by standing on the walls around the edge and looking down at them. And we were most remarkably allowed to step into the pit, as it were, and walk amongst them as though we were part of the army. And one felt a tremendous sense of privilege. And she was clearly as enthusiastic, as struck by it as, as, as I was, indeed, I our Chinese host as well. A test of her diplomatic abilities came at a lunch she hosted for Deng Xiaoping, the veteran and energetic communist leader. Please accept the warm and warm greeting and respect from an old Chinese man. <laughs> We'd been sitting at the table for 10 minutes, I suppose, and the Queen was sitting opposite Deng Xiaoping, who was, I was sitting alongside him, and she noticed he was fretting uneasily. And she remembered, of course, that he was a train smoker, and she leant across to me and said, I think Mr. Dung would be rather happier if, if he was told he was allowed to smoke. And I told him that, and I've never seen a man light up more cheerfully than that. It's a very human touch, and he appreciated it. She did not move a muscle when Deng Xiaoping expectorated that is, spat into a spittoon, which was about 100 yards away. Sorry, I exaggerate. It was uh, at least a yard away, and he spat, as is a Chinese custom. And the Duke of Edinburgh let out a guffaw or something, and we all went rather, sort of looked around, and the Queen just didn't move. The Queen had invited virtually the whole Chinese government to a banquet on board Britannia. It was an evening which bowled over her own entourage, let alone the Chinese. <laughs> Just as we, however reluctantly, respond to the theater of monarchy and how we get those tingles down our spine, to be there on the deck of the Royal Yacht watching the Royal Marines beating the retreat uh, in Shanghai. You know, something that's never happened before. And you feel a huge thrill and you can sense the people around you responding and, and feeling that it's part of something that they're never going to see again.